Bella's vampire makeup as a newborn throughout the whole movie of Breaking Dawn Part 2. Her makeup pretty much stayed the same, but this was the makeup from when she first awakened as a vampire. It does not look as pigmented on camera, but I will have a zoomed in close video right here just to see of the eyes. Let's see how I did Bella's makeup as a vampire, keep on watching. To start off um, Bella's makeup for being a vampire, I gave my skin some moisturization and I used Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion and this is to hydrate and protect. Now this is from their acne line so you can use any moisturizer you have to moisturize your skin to make sure it's not flaky or dry or irritated. So this is what I use. So the first step I'm gonna do for the skin is to take a foundation that's glowy yet gives like a perfect skin effect. Now the foundation I used on Kristen in the movie is Vita Lumiere and this is a moisture rich radiant sunscreen fluid makeup and it has SPF 15 and it's by Chanel. I got the shade number 7 because that was the lightest shade they had at my um, Chanel counter. But a great dupe for this foundation is Remo Wake Me Up Foundation and this I do have a review on it so I will link this down below but this is the foundation I used on Kristen so I will brush this on my skin with like my foundation brush. So this is what I'm going to start off with and I will start by applying this to my skin. So this is the foundation. I'm going to be using it on a Sigma Bird Kabuki brush. This is the F86. I am going to start by just um, shaking this lightly, the foundation, because I'm not sure if it's separated. And I am going to apply a little bit onto the brush first, about distribute this evenly to my skin. I'm going to take a little bit more onto my brush. Now the reason I'm not using my fingers to apply this right now onto my skin itself is because I am filming and I don't want to have to sanitize my hands like every five seconds. But this foundation gives a gorgeous finish, especially if you have a drier, more type of skin complexion, but this is nice for oily skin as well. I don't think it's gonna last as long on people who have oily skin like me, but it is definitely a nice foundation for taking photos or filming. So the next thing they did on Kristen was um, put some concealer under her eyes. Now the concealer they used is by YSL or by Yves Saint Laurent and they used the Touchy Claw and the Radiant Touch in Ivory. So I just have Radiant Touch which, the, which is the pink tone but they used the actual skin tone which I believe is shade number two. I am gonna just um, take some from the applicator. <laughs> And apply this under my eyes like that so this product will brighten your under eyes up and give a more perfect skin look like a vampire now keep in mind she has like just awoken from being a vampire if we're talking about the beginning of Breaking Dawn part 2 so she does not have discoloration under her eyes because she has recently awakened and still has human blood in her system from before she became a vampire. So to set this product I'm going to be using Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and this is in like shade number one which is the lightest out of the two or three shades they make. And to apply this product I'm going to be using my Sigma Angled Precision Brush and this is the P84 and I'm just going to take a little bit out of the container and tap off any excess. <laughs> And I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. And you can bring this down into a triangle to really highlight this upper area of your face. Now to set all of her makeup, they use a specific powder. And this is a powder by a um, brand that I've never heard of before, but I got it at a beauty wholesale site for a little bit cheaper than it normally goes for. But it's a T La Click. Paris. I'm not sure if I said that right, but I'm sorry if I didn't. And this is in the shade Parmi, which is the purple color. Which purple is a color for brightening. As you can see, it's pretty bright in there. So I am going to take my 
powder brush, which the one I'm using today is the large powder brush by Sigma. This is the F30. And I'm going to tap into here lightly, tap off any excess, and work from one side of my face to the other. This powder has a gorgeous smell to it. It's very floral. It reminds me of the um, Chanel scent that's in most of their foundations. Now this product was brought down to the neck, to brightening that area up too. I'm gonna go on to my T-zone as well. Make sure everything's set. This is a relatively matte product. The makeup breakdown that I got for this tutorial from Makeup Magazine it didn't specifically say that Kristen's face was contoured or had blush on. So I am gonna add a little bit of a contour from my NARS blush palette. This is a palette that came out from Nordstrom. And the color I'm gonna be using is Laguna, which is right there. I'm just gonna be using this on a Sigma Large Angle Contour F40 brush. So that's um my face contoured lightly. One thing I did forget to do, which I just realized, because I normally never do this, but they did use a Laura Mercier foundation primer on her, and they used the color Radiance, I believe, because that's the one I got. This one I got for free from an order from Laura Mercier, because I ordered the Secret Brightening Powder from Laura Mercier, and then I got this as my free little gift. So you could definitely go on to the actual brand's website to see if you can get some of these products for free and sample size. So this, I'll just put a little bit on my hand so you can see exactly what it looks like. It's right here and it does have a almost skin tone coloring and it does put a little bit of shimmer on your face and she is a vampire. This is a good product for that. And I might apply a little bit of this as highlighter but I don't think I need to. But the product I am going to be using right now which will be moving on to the eyes which I'll be taking Laura Mercier Linen um, Eye Basics. So they used the color wheat, I'm using the color linen because that's the one that closest matches my skin tone. So it has a dull filled applicator and I'm just going to start by applying a little bit to my lid and bringing this up to my eyebrow. So the eyeshadow they used on Kristen in the movie was Variations by Chanel and this is one of the four pan colors. It's purpley, it has some browns in it, and a silver taupey color. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the taupey shade, which is the one right here, which you can't really see on this type of lighting right now, but it's like a silvery color, and this is the color that's going to go all over our lid. And you're really going to want to pack this on. I'm using a Sigma eyeshader brush. Now, if you are going to buy this palette, I recommend buying the one that's not the mineralized one, because... The mineralized eyeshadows by Chanel are not the most pigmented. I always recommend getting the square um, version of the eyeshadows because I feel like you get a little bit more product as well as they are more pigmented. I am going to move into this little pink shade right here that's just showing up like white on camera. But this is going to go under our eyebrow. The shade is going to go under our eyebrow. I'm going to use the same brush, just use the opposite side. So the next thing I'm going to do is use a blending brush by Sigma. This is the E25, and I'm going to work with that brown shade that's right here now. And this is going to start going into the crease. And when you're making a crease shape, you really want to make this go up. You don't want to bring these shades down. I'm going to move on to the next side right now. I'm going to just kind of wipe off any excess brown on the back of my hand and move forward to the purpley kind of um, burgundy type of color. And this one I find it's best to start with a little and move towards a little bit more if you need it. And this is going to be more focused on the inner part of the crease. <laughs> You can move this more towards the um, eye fold. So that's the eyeshadow so far. I think it's looking really good. It looks smoky. It looks very similar to how the makeup artist in Breaking Dawn Part 2 did the makeup. The next part of the eyeshadow that I'm going to be doing is the inner corner. I talked to a few other people who saw the movie that are girls and I was like they used this really blue toned white in her inner corner and everyone's like no they didn't and I'm like yes they, they did. So when I got the book and I saw that they used a Chanel white shadow I looked through all the white shadows that Chanel makes and this one which is a cream shadow and it's called 
Fantisma. It's um, number 81. And it is a cream shadow that has a blue iridescent. And I'm going to be using a little pencil brush by Sigma to apply this to my inner corner. And the reason I recommend using a brush to apply this is because it is a cream, it's easy to get this all over your other eyeshadows. <laughs> really brights up that inner corner just taking that one eyeshadow which is why I normally don't do this during the actual school day because I think that it's a little bit too much for school but for something like a movie obviously or a special occasion like prom or a dance or a wedding this is just a nice type of thing to do for the inner corner the next thing I'm going to be doing is applying eyeliner to the top lash line now I'm using Lancome Lee Stylo Waterproof in Noir, and this is just a retractable eyeliner and I'm going to be using my Chanel mirror to apply it, I hope. Now I'm not going to do anything like a wing, I'm really just going to try and get this as close to the lash line as I can. Now you can also smudge this out slightly with the smudger side of the brush, which I'm going to actually do that right now. <laughs> so just doing that makes your top lash line look so much thicker than it actually would be if you don't smudge it or apply any eyeliner at all. As you can see, no eyeliner eyeliner. Now for the lower lash line, there is definitely some eyeliner. What the makeup artist did was she took, um, or he, I'm not sure if it was a girl or a guy, they took a combination of the burgundy and the brown shade from the Chanel palette we were using before. So I'm just going to mix them together in the palette right now. Just going back and forth between the brown and the burgundy purple shade. And then this is going to go right near my lash line. As for brows, they used Anastasia Brow Duo in brunette on Kristen so I would recommend getting I would recommend getting your shade so if you're blonde get the blonde one if you're a redhead get the shade for redheads if you're light brown get the light brown shade but luckily there is a light brown shade and a dark brown shade in this um, palette I'll be taking a little bit of the light brown shade first and following my natural shape of my brow just making it a tad bit thicker than I normally would this is just a little cut that happened a few days ago, but no big deal. So these are the brows so far. I am going to take my um, spoolie brush from Paul and Joe, but the brush I did just use is by Hare Hoku. I hope I pronounced that right. I probably didn't, but that is a Japanese brush company that came to IMAX, but I ordered that brush online. I'm not sure what it's called. It's a brush. It's an angled brow brush. To set my brows, they actually didn't write what they used to set her brows, so I'm kind of thinking maybe they didn't use anything to set her brows. I will be using Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara and just taking a little bit, wiping off the excess on the side of the tube so my brows aren't like chunky or sticky. So for mascara, they used Dior Show Waterproof in 90. That I did use up a while ago and you guys probably have seen it in my products I used up video. So I don't have it at the moment since I'm using other mascaras, but what I'm going to be using is Lancome Hitmo Star, and this is in the shade black, I believe, a one newer midnight. I am going to start by curling my lashes just to give them some volume. And taking my mascara and looking to the side because my mirror is kind of over here right now. And I'm also going to take whatever's left on the brush and go to my bottom lashes. This will also add almost a little bit of a black eyeliner effect to the bottom lash line if you do apply some mascara to the lash line. And the packaging is gorgeous on here. As you can see, there's like a glittery effect at the bottom of the tube. So they did use a few fake lashes on Kristen in the movie. They used the Not Free Flares and I'll use two of the not free flares on each side of my face so each eye so this i'm not sure if i'll be in the frame for i kind of hope i'm in the frame but you never know i am using some duo lash adhesive and i'm going to take 
the Ardell individual lid and put a little bit of glue on the top just so I have a palette to put my glue on. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lash like this, you probably can't see, and stick the little part where the lashes meet in the glue. Take my Chanel mirror or Chanel palette, take the lash and apply it to the end of my face. I can't decide if that was a fail or not, but I'll go ahead and do the next lash. That's one eye done with the two knot threes at the end. As you see, it kind of makes the lashes stick out a little bit more at the end than on this eye that doesn't have them. And this is just up close of the eyeshadow. So I did just finish applying the lashes. I'm not sure how well the frame was for both of those. I hope I was in the frame. What we would be doing is applying the custom lip color. Now, I don't have the pencil they used on Kristen's lips. They used a nude shade by Bobbi Brown. So I'm going to be taking Vincent Longo um, Duo Lip Pencil and I'm going to be using the shade Naked very lightly to line the inside of my lips. And I'll also be using my Juliet Hit Witch Los Angeles Cheeky and Destiny. As you can see, just adding that added some color to my face. But this is what the Destiny Cheeky looks like, and this product can be used for the cheeks as well as the lips. I realize this is not a perfect match for her lips, because her lips, they probably had a custom lip color that was, like, more pink and peachy, but since I just have the... I'm going to go ahead and fix this really quickly by blotting off a little bit of extra lip product. So by just blotting off a little bit of extra of that lip color as well as that lip liner, it really brings through your natural lip color, which will probably be a pink or peachy color if you do have a little bit of more pigmented lips. If you don't, then I would recommend using more of a pink lip liner underneath the Destiny Cheeky by um, Julia Hart. Hit with or heart with. So that's it for my Bella Swan Vampire makeup. I will have an outfit now. from SD. The rings are from Hot Topic from the franchise. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It did take some time putting effort in finding all the products used on Kristen in the movie Breaking Dawn Part 2. It was a requested video so I hope you guys enjoyed. I was putting this video off for the longest time because it takes a while to film these types of videos especially because it's either a two-part or a three-part video. The hair, the outfit, the makeup. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys have an awesome, amazing, fantastic day.